Good to meet Marie here with our Craig Goss Farmstead ship. I am just doing a little bit of container planting today, so I thought I would bring you guys along. I got these from the Dollar General, and it's a small little stackable planter. You can fit quite a few plants in here. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. We got some tomatoes here that I'm going to try and bring back to life, as well as this little chili plant. Um, with just some container mix that I picked up from the Walmart down the road. So, let's go on. Nest. Hmm, let me get, we'll just move this on somewhere else. That's not true, but it's still dirty. Bye bye. Yuck. Okay. So we got our first uh, level of tomato plants here done. We got three little cherry pepper, uh, cherry tomato mix plants here. And uh, it'll be a surprise to see what they turn into. So let's move on to the next level. This is the perfect kind of planter for small space. You maybe even could put this on the counter in your kitchen, grow some herbs, some parsley, some basil, oregano, and you'd have your own uh, perfect spaghetti herb garden going on. All right, we're going to put our little chili pepper plant here, and you can see it's already got one little tiny chili on there. You guys can see that sticking up there. Can't say I've heard of pepper super chili, but we'll see. We'll see what it does. We'll see if we can make some good salsa. Add a few more tomato plants here. Looks like we got some salvageable ones. The heat just got to them. I got to go back to Colorado uh, this last weekend to go um, help my parents get ready to move out to Oklahoma themselves. So super excited about that. So they're so tangled up. have it we have five tomato plants um cherry tomato some sort of mixture we'll see what they come out as when they grow and one little pepper plant so let me show you closer here okay so here we go so you can see the two levels these levels had holes in the bottom so when you water this it's going to drain down perfectly into that second level there and then, of course, you have a drip tray for any uh, overwatering or anything like that. You can see there's plenty of room. So if any of you guys have ever seen a green stock or one of the Grow Tower Project gardening uh, growing towers, 
Uh, this is just pretty much a little smaller scale version. Um, so I wanted to give it a try. It was $20 at my local Dollar General. So we'll see how long it lasts um, with weather and uh, the, the wind out here in Oklahoma. Um, again, I just used uh, this Better Homes and Gardens Natural Organic Professional Container Mix. Um, so far, it's been pretty good. Not a lot of... Uh, wood chips or haven't seen any bugs no nothing like that so um, it's mix is still pretty wet from being out being open here it just rained so uh, I'll add just a little bit of water to that and then I'll get it moved over to the other side of the deck and we'll follow along and see how the summer goes with grown tomatoes and peppers in this little miniature tabletop container 